Hello everyone, this is Kyle from Teacher's Teacher, and in this video we're looking at some advanced uses of Google Sites. So I'm in my Google Drive right now, and I'm going to go ahead and open up my Google Site that I have called Testing. Now there's just a few features that I want to go over with you that I think are pretty cool that either you or your students are going to enjoy as you are building some websites for whatever you're building them for. So the first thing I want to show you is called an animated header. So you can see that this header that I have up here at the top is an image and this specific image that I have is just one that is kind of stocked from Google and I can go ahead and change that image if I want to. Now it would be really cool if I could take this background and I can animate it, which means I could make the image move to be that much more aesthetically pleasing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a new tab and I'm going to go to this website called jiffy.com. And this website is essentially just a bunch of GIFs, Jiffy, Giphy, however you want to pronounce it. But a GIF is just an animated picture. So I'm going to type in something that isn't too crazy. I'm just going to type in a river and you can see that there are some pictures here. So I'm going to click on this one and you can see that this is just a nice mellow picture with the water moving. And that's really the kind of image that I want to choose, not something that is really flashy and crazy and really distracting. I just want something calm just to kind of add a little bit to the background. So I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to hit copy image address. So now that I have this copy to the clipboard, I'm going to go back to my Google site. I'm going to go over here where it says change image. I'm going to hit select image and then I'm going to hit by URL. And all I have to do is paste this into here and you can see that this image pops up and it is still moving and I hit select. So now you can see and it's, it's adjusting for the readability here so it might change. Yeah, kind of darkened it a little bit. But you can see it just kind of adds a little bit of a touch, a little bit of a background touch to my website here to make it look a little more dynamic. Now you can do this with really any type of picture if it's a, if it's a GIF, so you can spend some time playing around with that. I will tell you though that from this website, and if you're looking at just uh, GIFs in general, not every single one is going to fit the dimensions that is required for this header. So you might have to kind of guess and check if you don't know how to play with the dimensions themselves, but I'm sure you can find something that will work for you. Now speaking of pictures, the next thing I want to show you is this image carousel. So this is a pretty cool feature, so all I need to do, I'm in this insert tab, I can hit image carousel. And now I can add a couple images that can actually, that I can set to rotate, to auto rotate on my website. So I need to have at least two images it's telling me, so I'm going to click add, select them because they're in my Google Drive. And I have a couple images of cells right here. So I'm going to hold down control and I'm going to click all three of them. So they're highlighted. I'm going to hit select. And now all three of them are going to pop up and I can hit insert. So now you can see that these images are present here. I can move this to the middle. And then if I preview my website, it'll give me an option to scroll through these three images and it kind of has these uh, icons down here at the bottom and I can scroll through there. Now let's say that I actually want to scroll through or I want this to auto scroll for me. Let's go back. I'm going to click this image. I'm going to go to the settings gear and then I'm going to go to this additional settings gear up on top and I can hit auto start and this will make sure that the images are kind of set on a loop. So now if I go back to preview and I don't click anything. You should notice that the pictures now are kind of scrolling on their own. So this would be really great if you want to showcase some information, some pictures for whatever you're doing. And I think again, it just adds a little bit of a nice dynamic. It kind of makes the website feel like it's alive because things are moving and you don't really have to do anything and you don't have to click anything to get that done. Now, lastly, the last image uh, that we can kind of look at here is something called a fav icon. So if you look at the top right here, and you'll notice that even if I go to this, uh, this Giphy, there's this little icon up here at the top that represents uh, the icon that this website uses. Now right up here we just have our simple logo, and this is our logo just for Google Sites, but you can actually control and change that image. So if I go over here to this drop down, more, and I hit add the fav icon, I can click on that. Now I can upload a picture, so if I have something saved to my desktop, I can hit open 
and this should be an image of a cell that I have just previously used. It looks great, and it says your fav icon will appear when your site is published. So I'm gonna exit out of that, and then I'm gonna actually go ahead and publish my site. And the web address, teacher Kyle 80 why not? And then I'm gonna hit publish. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit view my site. And then you'll notice that it's really, really tiny up top here, but that icon is actually there, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna close out of this as we continue to look at some other features here. Now this next feature is probably the most advanced feature, and this deals a little bit with coding. So I made this other page right here, adding code. So I'm gonna go to this. Now, what we can do is we can actually embed any type of HTML code to add really anything else that we want into our Google site, which is really cool, and it gives us just almost an endless amount of options with things that we can add. So I can go over here to this embed function. I'm gonna click embed, and then I'm gonna go over here where it says embed code. Now I can copy and paste or type any HTML code into this. Now where do we get some HTML code? I'm gonna hit cancel, and I'm gonna go to this website right here, www.w3schools.com. So let's open that up. .com hit enter. So this is a website that I can use that it'll actually teach me how to code with different types of code and it also gives me examples of how to use this. So if I hit learn HTML, this separate window is going to pop up. And then if I scroll over at the top to how to, so let's say I want to add some type of accordion menu button and this example is right here. So if I click, it opens up the different section and different text below and I can have all three of them open at once or just one at a time. It's a pretty cool feature to navigate and I wanna add this to my website. All I need to do is go down here where I can hit try it myself. And all this code, it's okay if you don't know how to code, I'm actually just learning myself so I'm pretty new at this too. But all you need to do is highlight all of this, hit Control C or right click and hit copy. Go back to the website, embed, embed code and then paste. So I just pasted all of this crazy looking code into here and I hit next and then this little sample is gonna pop up. I hit insert and now this image is here for me and I can make it bigger and I can center it a bit. So now if I go to preview, this is the actual working of the website. I can actually click through these sections to have all this different text pop up, which is super cool. Now, what if I want to edit what it's saying right here? All I need to do is go back. I'm gonna click on this section, I'm gonna edit. And then within the code, I will actually have to edit the code myself, which isn't really too hard if you know where to look. So for example, if I know that this is my paragraph right here, I can highlight this. Oops, not all that. I can highlight this and I can hit hello. I can type hello and then I hit next and I hit save. So now if I do this again, preview, I can click this and one of these, yeah, the second one is the one that I edited and it says hello for me. So it's really cool if your students know how to code or if you're teaching them how to code HTML and you want them to add it to a Google site, this is a really cool way, this embed feature to do that. So it's pretty exciting. Now lastly, I just wanna show you that you can embed a bunch of other things, including charts that you have from any type of data from a Google Sheet. So if I click charts and I can find a chart here that I can add, for example, from a performance exam, I hit insert and I can click on this specific graph right here and this graph I made within a Google Sheet and this actually somebody else made this from a different performance performance exam from another class that I teach. I hit add and then this data will pop up that I can manipulate here. And now the cool thing is if I ever go in to add anything to this sheet, which means that it's gonna manipulate and change this graph, it'll always update it in real time. So let's say I have some data that I want students to look at all the time, maybe once a week on certain types of performance it will always automatically change and update for you within your Google site, so it's pretty cool. And that's all I have for the advanced features. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much for sticking around, and I will see you for the next one.